Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a soap press on a returning client. Now the thing is, is that I haven't seen her in two whole years. We know how it goes, life gets crazy, life gets busy, life is life in, and she wasn't able to get into the salon until now. I'm not gonna lie, she was a little nervous that we may have had to chop all her hair off because it's been so long. But over the two years, she was able to follow the tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you today that allowed her to not only maintain her hair health, but actually see some growth and progress. So if you wanna find out what she did over the past two years to see such great results, stay tuned. Let's dive in. All right, so after a good clarifying shampoo, I'm going in with the Olaplex treatment. And the Olaplex treatment is a bond building treatment, meaning it is a strengthening treatment. And it is so good for her, especially cause she hasn't had like a deep, deep treatment like an Olaplex treatment in the past two years. And the reason why an Olaplex treatment is great is because it is going to rebuild her hair from the inside out. This is because the molecules in the Olaplex treatment is small enough to penetrate deep into the hair shaft. It finds any broken or damaged bits and it fills the hair back up. This allows for a stronger strand, a more well-defined strand, and it allows your hair to hold in moisture longer. I especially love Olaplex treatments for curly hair because our hair is the most fragile texture out of all the textures. So a treatment like a Olaplex treatment reinforces the hair so that it's stronger against daily wear and tear. And to further aid the Olaplex treatment, I like to pair it with a hair steamer. The hair steamer will allow the Olaplex treatment to penetrate deeper while also promoting moisture and hydration in the hair and scalp. I love to pair them together because you know you're getting both strength and moisture all in one shot. All right, so after she's finished steaming with her Olaplex treatment, I'm going to shampoo her hair out with the moisture shampoo from the Timelessly Curly Hair Care Line. Now I love this shampoo because I know it's not only going to hydrate her hair, but it's also going to gently cleanse it without leaving oils and like heavy product behind. You'll actually feel the weightlessness and the hydration at the same time. All right, so after shampooing, I'm going in with the deep repair treatment. Now this is the deep conditioning treatment and I'm obsessed with this deep conditioner because not only is it thoroughly moisturizing, but it also has keratin protein in it to also give you that moisture and strength balance. It is literally the best seller in the salon. Everyone's obsessed with it because it's super moisturizing and it makes your hair feel like butter, but it's lightweight enough so it's even great for even fine hair textures. And this actually brings us to our first tip on what to do when you're going a long time in between salon appointments. If you don't know when the next time you're gonna see a hairstylist, you wanna make sure that when you're at home, you are doing your deep conditioning treatments. And I mean on every single wash day. And this is because when life gets busy and you barely have time for yourself, when you do have a pocket of time to take care of your hair, you wanna make sure that you're using a deep conditioner because it's not only going to strengthen your hair, but keep your hair moisturized for longer. And we all know that curls thrive off of moisture. If your curls dry out, you notice that your hair becomes brittle, harder to manage, harder to style, and you start to notice more split ends, tangles, and down the road breakage. So when you do have a chance, you need to go in with a deep conditioner every single time. All right, so to prep her hair for her silk press, I'm going in with the Emergency Miracle Treatment, which is the leave-in conditioner. And a leave-in conditioner is the foundation to any style, y'all. Always make sure that you're using a leave-in conditioner because it's going to keep your hair moisturized. And not only that, if you are going long between wash days, a leave-in conditioner is vital to keeping your hair moisturized. 
always have a lightweight leave-in conditioner that won't build up on the hair so that your hair can actually obtain and retain moisture. After that, I'm going in with Le Du, which is my blow dry cream. And a blow dry cream is so important if you are blow drying your hair at home because we know how dry and crunchy our hair gets after a blow dry. And a cream is so important because it has moisture content in there that prevents your hair from drying out. So always look for a blow dry cream. It gives you the heat protection and the moisture all in one. And to seal in all the moisture and the goodness that we put into our hair, I'm going in with the amethyst oil. The amethyst oil is great because it also has heat protection. So it's going to leave her hair shiny and silky so I get the best blowout. All right, so as I blow out her hair, let's dive into some more tips on what to do when you're going a long time in between your hair appointments. My next tip is to simplify your routine. That means you want to choose multi-use products. That means you want to look for products like the amethyst oil, like the blow dry cream that serve multiple purposes. They have the heat protection and the moisturizing content. You also want to stick to the essentials. That means focus on just cleansing, conditioning your hair, and a simple styling routine. This will streamline your routine to make sure that you have key products and a simple routine to maintain your hair. Because we all know with the more steps we have to do, the more chances we are not gonna do them. So we already covered cleansing and conditioning. This brings us to our next tip, which is you want to protective style when you're going a long time in between your hair appointments. Now, I don't only mean going to your braider and getting braids or twists. I mean also doing low manipulation hairstyles on your own hair. This includes high puffs, buns, braids, mini twists, anything that's really going to protect the ends of your hair and tuck them away. My biggest tip will probably have to be to choose styles that are going to last you from wash day to wash day. Like a bun will get you so far and that's because you don't have to go in and redo it all the time. Because the more you have to style and manipulate your hair every day, the more chances you have of breakage and split ends. All right, y'all, and that brings us to our haircut. And I like to cut the hair blown out because we can both see those ends clearly and what needs to go. And you can see that her hair is doing really well in these past two years. And that's because she has been keeping up with it. I want to say I only had to take off an inch, maybe less, and that's because her hair wasn't splitting like crazy. And that's because she's been keeping those ends moisturized. The ends of your hair are so important to keep moisturized because once they start to split, that's the rest of the hair strand. If you're someone who's scared to go to the salon because every time you go they cut off mad inches, then you want to make sure that you are moisturizing regularly and using protective styling to tuck away your hair. This will prevent the split ends and the breakage so you don't have to cut off too much by the next time you see someone. Okay, so after her haircut, I'm going back in with the amethyst oil. And like I said, it has heat protection, so I'm gonna use it as our pressing oil for today. Now, I just wanna mention that you see how fluffy and lightweight her hair looks after we just use three products. Now, that's what it's supposed to look and feel like weightless after you use products. You don't want anything that's too heavy that's gonna weigh your hair down and cause buildup. All right, so as I finish up styling her hair by flat ironing, let's get into the last tip on what to do when you're going a long time in between your hair appointments. Now, this is something that I see a ton of people struggle with, and that is taking care of your hair at nighttime. Now, if you are not using a silk or satin pillowcase, scarf or bonnet, you are really causing damage. 
And this is because at nighttime, when we are just rubbing to and fro against our sheets, we are drying our hair, our skin, everything out. And as we keep emphasizing, dryness leads to breakage. So as you are just rubbing your hair against a cotton pillowcase, it's not only drying your hair out, but it's snagging at it and pulling at your hair and causing split ends. I know we complain, oh my God, I woke up and then my bonnet was on the floor, my scarf was on the floor. You need to find a way that works best for you and your hair, period. All right, y'all, and that brings us to our final results. First and foremost, look how shiny her hair looks. Like, it is just reflecting this light. That means her hair is thoroughly moisturized and those cuticles are sealed to hold that moisture in or else she would not be reflecting this much light. And this is because she's been moisturizing her hair at home and I was just like the finishing touches or else her hair would not be looking this good y'all. Also shout out to the layers because it is giving her hair so much body and bounce and what I love about this haircut is that it's going to look good whether she wears her hair curly or straight. And as we look to the front I'm just showing y'all different ways we can part it. It looks good with a middle part or a side part and that's because a good haircut makes styling your hair so much easier. And this is why I tell people that you want to come in regularly to get your haircuts, not only to get rid of damage, but to give your hair back some shape so that come wash day, it's so easy to style your hair because it's already sitting the way it needs to sit. If it's been a while since you've been to the hair salon and you've been living in protective styles, you want to check out this upcoming video on how to repair your hair after a protective style. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.